Oh shit! Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah! How about that? Them, them '80s retro freaking music. I don't, I don't know, man. But anyways, what's up? Richard Raven five seven eight here, and welcome to Castlevania Anniversary Collection. All right. So, because we are starting uh, Castlevania Lords of Shadow today. I decided, you know what, it'd be perfect to go through the entire Castlevania, well not the entire Castlevania series, but at least all the main-ish, you know, uh, Castlevania games, and play them at least until I die. Now, you might be like saying, well man, this is going to be a long video. Well, first of all, you, you already see the time of the video, so it's probably not going to be a long video, but secondly though, um, these Castlevania games are supposed to be super hard, okay? Like, the Dark Souls of the OG Castlevania games. So, with that being said, um, it shouldn't take me long at all to die. Now, we're gonna do Castlevania, Castlevania 2, 3, 4, and then we're gonna skip all the way down to Bloodline, and then we're gonna go into the other version with Mondo of Blood, and the best Castlevania game, arguably said by many people, Simply near the night. So, anyways, let's just get into it, man. Okay, let's do it. So, as far as I know, uh, in this game, I believe we're playing as uh, Simon. Um, and basically, the game is simple, all right? You go in here, kill some demons, kill Dracula, get out, and you know, get home just in time for dinner. So, that's pretty much the whole premise of the thing, and uh, that is. Basically, what we're gonna do. Did my whip just get longer, by the way? So, alright. Uh, so there should be a way to actually use my secondary abilities to. Oh, yep, okay. So, up and action. So, oh uh, man, this is some classic shit, dude. And you know what? One thing that I've noticed about these Castlevania games, too, is that the music is just way, way ahead of its time, man. Like, seriously, it is some of the best gaming music. Oh, shit. You old bastard. This is some of the best gaming music I've ever heard. And and I'm not lying. Like, I'm not saying it just because, oh, oh my god, we're playing Cat. Really? Oh my god, we're playing Castlevania. I got it. Like, I'm a huge fan. I'm going to be honest with you. I really do like the Castlevania series. And if I was growing up in the 80s, um, then I totally would be down, you know, to, you know, be involved with the Castlevania series. You know, grow up with it and stuff like that. Because that's pretty cool, man. I don't know what game that I have played a lot of. Besides maybe like Sherlock Holmes, like that, you know, um, that is still going to be coming out, uh, you know, years ahead of the future. Um, and I can say, you know, tell my kids, you know, hey man, I played this shit, you know, when I was a baby and they're still making games because it's that, that awesome. Alright, anyway, let's just continue, so, man, we're not doing too bad, we're only taking two hits, but I mean, it's because of the cat creatures, stuff like that. And... My, I know for a fact that my biggest weakness is basically the bat creatures, uh, the med oh, shit. medusas, and um, I think they're hunchbacks, but I don't know if they're in this game, so uh, I have played a little bit of the OG Castlevania stuff like that, not too much, but I know that Castlevania 4, um, Rondo of Blood, and Symphony of the Night, like, those games are, like, the kinds of games that I would actually go back and dedicate my time into playing, so, and who knows, maybe we'll actually, uh, do a full playthrough of, like, these Castlevania games at some point, you know, I mean, I wouldn't mind it, but, and it'd be a whole, and it'd be really different, you know, but, uh, we'll see, so, oh shit. I did, what what was that? Why did why did I mess up so hard there? I have no clue what just happened there. So, all right, eh, eh. all right, and I believe this is supposed to be the first level boss. What's up, Biatch? All right, um, oh, damn it! All right, so come on, it's the first level boss. It shouldn't be that you mother. <clears throat> It should first level boss shouldn't be that hard, right? Eh, bitch. Oh, yo, he's almost dead. Mother... Nope, I'm gonna get him first. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, this is way better than I have done the first time. So, alright. So, a uh, little self-explanation time. So, I actually played and actually done this video before. Um, but... 
what happened was is that for some reason my mic was turned down to the absolute quiet quietest it's ever been and i'm sorry but like i let it slide with my resident evil video but like it is super important for the castlevania stuff you know it's it's I, I, I don't know, man. It just makes it feel more alive, so. Because then, like, if I went ahead and released the video anyways, and there's, like, no commentary, then the point of the video wouldn't really be explained. And, uh, yeah, I mean, that, that's, that's basically the premise right there, so. All right. But, yeah, man, this is relaxing. I mean, I mean, I, I know I'm saying, I'm, oh, fuck me, the Medusa heads. Okay, hold up. <laughs> oh, this is relaxing. Oh, shit, Medusa heads. All right. Oh no, they're coming back. No, you bitch! I don't want head. <laughs> Get it? Head? Good. The Medusa? No? Okay. Alright. Again, holy shit, we're actually not doing too bad. So. Oh, they say this game was supposed to be hard. <laughs> Hilarious. Alright, well, that was embarrassing. But, uh, that's kind of the point of the video. So, anyway. Oh, and I also figured out how to put these awesome banners around the screen, too. So, instead of just being, like, just a black void or something, um, we can continue to... Yep. Hello? Oh. Player 3. Okay. Alright, so, this is Simon's Quest, which is, uh, of course, you know, a sequel to Castlevania 1. And I believe this is supposed to be... Well, taking place obviously in the same lineage as Simon Belmont. I mean, it's the same guy from the first game. Um, and from what I've known, the after you send uh, Dracula's head to the moon, you're uh, supposed to go around and collect his body parts and then kill him again. I don't know, man. It's a it's a really weird story. Um, and I mean, I, I I don't know it too much, anyways. Oh shit! Why is he jumping? Oh my god! Why did they jump? Weirdos. All right. Anyways, um, but yeah, so, yeah, I am not doing as good. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of rushing. I need to slow down a bit, so. Like, I know we're going to be playing this game all the way up until, like, I die. And then it's like, oh, you know, if I don't like this one, I'll just kill myself. But I'm not trying to do it on purpose here. Alright. The music, though. Oh, my God. You, you see what I mean, man? Like, for this time, the music is just on some other shit. You know, I'm not even mad. I'm not even mad. <laughs> I was actually hoping we get way more into the into Castlevania 2, but I guess the game was like, nah, man, you need to go ahead and go into Castlevania 3, all right? You suck. I might... Like, yeah, I can't really argue with that, so... By the way, this is the first Castlevania game that comes with an intro. The music, though! Oh, my God! <laughs> They're in the 15th Europe. Century Europe. There lived a person named Dracula. <laughs> He practiced sorcery in order to create a bad world filled with evil. He began talking or taking over the continent of Europe, changing countries from good to bad. The good people of Europe tried to fight off Dracula, but no one was able to survive. Finally, the Belmont family was summoned to battle Dracula's vile forces. The Belmont family has a long history of fighting evil. Hell yeah! I, I know I'm I'm not being really awkward right now, but it, you know it, this is this is some classic shit right here, man. I'm gonna enjoy it. The townspeople became afraid of the Belmont's superhuman power and asked them to leave the country. Fortunately, the people found a mighty Belmont. C the hell ca called oh called Trevor. All right, so as you can see, we're playing a different Belmont now. The curse of Dracula has begun. The fate of Europe lies with Trevor. Trevor? All right, so that seems to be the end of it. All right, so yes, yeah, so I believe that, you know, again, Dracula's come back, you know, same story. Dracula always comes back, by the way. And um, you basically just got to, you know, now, now we're, I believe we're supposed to be, uh, you know, Simon's, I don't know if this is son or his grandson. I believe this is his grandson because I think in lore, uh, Dracula's supposed to come back every hundred years, so. All right, anyways, so yeah. Lord, please give me the blessing to kick some Dracula booty. Amen. He's like, all right, fam, here you go. Oh man, we don't even get to keep the cape. So, oh well, capes are cool. 
Alright. Alright, I have no clue what the hell I was talking about just now, and I just ruined my flow. But hey, whatever, you know what? When uh, adult shit happens, adult shit's gotta do. Gotta, it gotta get done, you know? So. Whew. Anyways, pardon the interrupting. Alright. So yeah, so if I, if I, as far as I remember, I'm not sure if this this one is supposed to be one of the harder games or the uh, Castlevania 4, which is again arguably one of my favorites, simply because simply because it uh is the, well first of all it's a damn it it's a huge upgrade, bro. I can I, I I cannot get up to there. It's holy crap! Oh my god! Okay, hold on. This is the hardest Castlevania game ever because I can't get up the stairs. There we go. Woo! I did it. All right, progress, everyone. We're making it. We're doing it. So, anyway, see. So, yeah, so this is actually supposed to be the, like the last like NES classic Castlevania game. And uh, oh, 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 you tried, ho. You tried. Anyways, as I was saying before, I almost got ambushed by a bat. Um. So yeah. So this is supposed to be like the last of the classes. Uh, Castlevania games, and then Super Castlevania 4, which is actually supposed to be a, a, a prequel. Ugh. Or sort of like a light remake of the first game, um, where you play as a different Belmont. The fuck? That guy just came down like, Levi Jenkins! And, you know, just did that. Alright, hold up. This guy's this guy really good. He's throwing all his boners at me. Well, yeah, and then also the number one thing that I loved about it is the, it, it, the you know, Super Castlevania 4. The one, number one thing I loved about it is the fact that you can whip in multiple different directions. And it is a godsend, you know, when, you know, you can go, you can whip up, you can whip down, you can whip, you know, kind of to the uh, corner and stuff like that. So, so, all right, there we go. So, you know, I am not doing as bad as I thought I was going to be. And then I take a hit. Oh my, oh my god. No, you, uh, you, wow. Okay. Oh no, there's more. Run. All right. Like I said, man, Medusa heads are not again. Okay. Wow, that was pretty cheap. All right. No. Uh, yo, really? There we go. No, you slag. Okay, oh, okay, so as long as I don't jump, then I should be fucking oh, shit. That was a bad idea. Let's just get out of here. I don't want to deal with the Medusa head, so. Alright. If I'm tripping... No, okay, I thought we were about to get to the uh, first boss, so. Yeah. 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 Yeah, get away from me, you ugly monsters. Oh, that was just stupid. Alright. Like I said, man, the music it kicks ass, though. It, it, it literally, it, it slaps, you know? What? Alright. Alright, not doing the worst. I mean, if we take one more hit, then we're fucked. But I think, if anything, no. Okay. But if anything, though, we are definitely surviving a whole lot longer than uh, Castlevania 2, so. Like, man, I'm not used to, like, playing games where, like, when you get hit, you fall back. Um, I don't know what kind of shit they were on when they thought that was a great idea. They probably didn't think it was a good idea. Okay, I honestly thought you could duck under those, so, but clearly you can't. At least not in Castlevania 3, so. Here we go. Super Castlevania 4. Alrighty, let's go ahead and, you know, y'all already know who you guys are watching, you guys are watching A.S. Yeah! I love it. So, I believe in this game, it's either in this game, oh no, it was in Castlevania 3, I remembered. So, in Castlevania 3, you could actually play... Um, as, like, three other characters. You can play as Alucard, which is Dracula's son. You can play as, uh, Saifa, who's a maid chick, and then some hunchback dude, I forgot his name. But this is what I was talking about, by the way. You can whip in multiple different direction, and it makes life so much easier. Plus, you can just fiddle around the joystick, too, so. Yeah. Yeah, take that, you damn dirty monsters. And by the way, you can also, uh, see, hold up. 
You could also um, moonwalk if I remember, but I can't remember how to do it. Hang on. Nah, you can, I don't know how to do it, so. Alright, anyway. But yeah, as I said though, this is one of my particular personal, like, favorite class of Castlevanias. Now, of course, I, I won't say that, you know, I've beaten it, but hold up. Hold up, alright? Just imagine the dude that is set, that's playing that piano that's on fire. Imagine him playing this. You ready? Oh god, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. It's about to- Oh, it's about to get heavy. Yeah! Oh my god, yo. You know, you know they were, like, they were making the studio hot when they were making the, uh, soundtrack, so. Like I said, man, the fucking music is just amazing, so. Alright. So, I totally won't tell you guys why I know instantly to go back here. And I had nothing to do with falling into the uh, pit that's right here. Alright. Okay, kill this guy. And you guys can tell, like, you can see what I mean when it came to, like, the graphics and stuff like that. Like, kind of, like, I wasn't, obviously, I wasn't around that era um, of gaming when, the, you know, the Switch to the NES to the Super Nintendos was a thing. But... You know, I, I have been around from the PlayStation 2 to the, uh, you know, PS5 days and stuff like that. So I kind of know what it's like, you know, growing up and just seeing graphic get better and better. And, uh, yeah, I mean, this is a, such an improvement, too, so. Alright. Cool thing is, too, that we can actually whip through, uh... We can actually whip through, um, freaking walls, too. Now, as you can see, the, the enemies can, too, which is a fair exchange, you know? I mean, you know, it is what it is. Alright, go ahead and... Can we reach this guy? Yeah. There we go. Eh. Eh. Die, you dirty monster. Die. Yeah. Eh. Got him. <laughs> uh, it looks so weird, but, hey, man, it is so useful. Alright. Do, 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 do. That motherfucker tried to leave away drinking me too. Like his, that must have been his cousin or something. Alright. Throws his bone and then just freaking tries to do the uh tries to do the frog splash on me. Oh, hold up. Alright. Also, yes. We got a grappling hook. But for a rusty, you know, chain whip and stuff like that, it sounds really leathery. Gotta watch out for this fucking garbage man from Sesame Street. I forgot his name, but you also know who I'm talking about. I know everybody has watched Sesame Street, like, when they were a kid. Don't tell me you haven't, okay? I, I, I refuse to believe that we're in that age where kids don't know what Sesame Street is. That seems like... I, I hope I die before that happens, okay? <laughs> like, that's part of your childhood when you're growing up. Alright. Yeah, I can throw shit too, you little bastards. Yeah. Yo, you know what? Next time I go to the club and, like, you know, dance, this is exactly what I'm gonna have the DJ to start playing. Because, holy shit, this is gonna be, like, such a weird, like, transition. Like, you'll be here, like, listening to... Oh, I forgot those things exist. Alright, hold up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, these things are so OP. It's so tough. Alright. There we go. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh no, I remember this part. It's fucking horse heads. Hold up. Should be a way to take care of them. Here we go. Just gotta kinda tippy toe towards them. Ooh. Alright, I did really well taking care of those guys. Yeah, I've always usually get hit, like, a lot when uh, I go through this part, but I did a way better job than normal. There we go. Man, look how beef my dude is, too. Like, he has the... He has the hair. So, so you gotta have the hair when you're part of the Belmont family. So, Actually, now that I realize it, I think... I think over there on the left, if you see, like, if you see, you know, the fucking banner right here, I think this is supposed to be him. Um, oh shit. Which I believe is supposed to, This is Trevor- No, it ain't Trevor. Who the fuck is this guy, actually? I can't remember his name. Alright. Anyways. 
Oh, it's a freaking Deuce Medusa head. Ah, uh, this game has to, you know, fall back bullshit where you, when you get hit, you lose, uh, you'll jump backwards, which, you know, so far has seemed to be the, a pretty good, you know, the death of me. No. Okay. Go ahead and take care of this little booger right here. It's just chilling out. Oh, no, don't mess. You'll never see me here. <laughs> well, I did. Do, 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 do. Oh, there's another booger right there. Hold up. No. Just do that. And just simply pass all the enemies. Okay, first boss, I believe, right? Oh, crap. Oh, I can hit his projectiles? Come here, bitch. What, what, what's wrong? Huh? Huh? Come at me, bro. That bit, that guy is by low. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Oh. Okay, already the setting has went from like classic arcadey to like this is the shit. Welcome to hell, kid. <laughs> Alrighty, it's fun down here. Now this game is kind of weird because it kind of feels like it's a step back from uh, Castlevania 4. First of all, as you can see, there's no Belmont family. Who the f like where? And from what I know, I believe John Morris is supposed to be. I think his name is Quincy Morris from the Bram Stoker novel of Dracula, which is like okay. Now we're bringing the a book into the canon of Castlevania, and like yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> it's pretty weird. Anyways, so yeah, and then we got freaking Aquaman here. Like, I mean, and he carries a spear. It's like, no, nah, fuck that, bro. I want, I want, I want to use the whip. You know, I want to, I want them to watch me whip. You know what I mean? Okay, I'm sorry. I have to make that like reference somewhere. All right. I know nobody cares about that song, anyways. But still. Alrighty. All the music though. Oh, dude. I, I'm, I'm, mmm. Ah, uh, I'm on. Not do a Ghost of Tsushima and try to like make a mention about the same thing every episode because when we're playing ghost of tsushima man i always talk about how amazing the game looks and it does so but holy crap you can tell that this game already takes a different turn like look at this guy decapitation that's awesome so but you know it still keeps that nice gothic feel to it you know i mean i was about to say nice gothic castlevania feel but i mean we're playing castlevania so you should already know it's castlevania feel so a lot of people said that lords of shadow doesn't really feel like a castlevania game i'm like have you played the ending of it like i haven't personally got there but i'm pretty sure it all ends up in a castle so and like you kind of have to have a castle in castlevania right i mean it's literally in the title so that's just me all right anyway i just have a a different feel for it. We're gonna fuck off from this guy because he kicked my ass last time. Get down there, man. He kicked my ass last time. So. Alright. Hey! This seems like the same thing as from the uh, Castlevania 1. Oh my god. Oh my god, we have to back fall back bullshit. Okay. You gotta be good. You mother. Oh god. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I got it under control, people. <laughs> no! All right, now we're on Rondo of Blood. And this is also another one of my favorite, um, you know, in terms of what I've played of through the Castlevania series, this is one of my favorite games too here. I love the style of it. It, it feels, this is kind of where they get more into the anime aspect of it. And I'm down with it, man. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a weep, you know? I mean, I'm, I'm currently finishing up, uh, oh, look at that, you already got my old profile from the first time I tried making this thing. All right, let's go ahead and delete this. Bye, yes. Alrighty. And then we'll go ahead and make another ass. So, oh, oh okay. So this time is actually X. Holy shit. Okay, this must be going when... Wait, axe? Nah, bro. Not axe. Ass. Alright. Let's go ahead and go into that AS. But yeah, I believe this is like when they started going to another console version is either that or symphony of the night but damn the music Woo! oh my god so this is uh another belmont you know down the line of course and i believe his name is richter uh kind of a hard name for now i, I never heard of a richter before but it's a cool name actually 
Um, and yeah, and you can see what I mean by when they get closer to the anime, it's like, of Castlevania. And like I said, I am down with that, man. Yeah! It looks like, uh, Ryu from, uh, freaking Street Fighter. <laughs> oh, this is so cool, man! He got the power of Christ on his side. All right. So we are actually about to be playing like the intro here so, of what we just saw. So, oh man, this looks so cool. I mean, honestly, for a retro game, this looks good. So, but I think it's gonna get a little weird because we're instantly supposed to lose our cape. But, eh. yep. What's up, beach? Uh, ow. Okay, you got a good hit in, but you know, uh, that's the only hit I'm gonna let you have. Uh, don't wiggle your finger at me, little nerd. Alright, come on. Come on, bro. Trust my strength. See what's about to happen. What the fuck is that? There won't be no next time because this whip is going to be going up that booty. All right. Yeah. Oh my god, the music is setting into. Holy shit. Yeah. All right. So, unfortunately, in this game, once again, you were not able to whip in all different directions. With Why the hell do they, like, never bring it back? That's so weird. All right, whatever. Oh, look how fluid that is to going up the stairs. There's actually an animation for it. Also, Richter, so he is definitely m the, the more acrobatic of the Belmont family, and you're supposed to be able to do a backflip, but I have no clue how to do it. Hold up, hold up. Let's figure it out, because maybe, maybe it's cool. I don't know. Anyways, but it's supposed to help you, like, in case if you find, if there's an enemy waiting for you on top of the stairs, and, like, you can't hit them, so you need to, like, backflip into the next level. Or onto the second floor, whatever. So. Okay, that guy just went ahead and just combined you. Like, nah, I ain't gonna even have to deal with this guy. Like, here. Oh, I, well, I guess I get to do that, too. So, alright. Oh, man, the music is so good, dude. It gets you pumping. You little help. Okay, I need to watch out. I need to... You know what? Next time, I'm gonna probably move up. There we go. Yeah, I need to just move up a little closer, so. Alright. So go in, go in. You know, I just realized too that this is one of the first Castlevania games that didn't start in the, uh, that doesn't actually start in a castle. So, which is pretty cool. It's just like a little bit of an adventure up to it, you know? So, like, Castlevania, of course, it has to have a castle in it, but it doesn't need to always be in a castle, in my personal opinion, you know? I mean, of course, make castle like a big part of the game, but if you want to start in a well, okay. If you want to start in a mother, oh, if you want to start in a city, dude, uh, that looks like hell, then I say yeah, do it. Okay. Try to kick this guy's ass. Okay. Well, I'm not that tall. Ooh. Okay. Bro, come on. You have to. This has to be. You. You are taking damage, right? I don't know if this guy's even taking damage. Oh! There we go. Okay, that is such a, an easy boss. Not boss guy. So I can take I can take probably take him out all day. Oh, there's another one. Okay. Wow. This is definitely gonna slow the game down a bit. Look at him, actually smirking like he's gonna be like, he's gonna be like, well, I'm gonna put that ass, <laughs> you ain't gonna beat me. Bruh, come on, get off my screen. Oh, look at that, there's the castle. Is that a dragon too? Okay, well, hopefully we won't have to worry about that dragon anytime soon. Oh, we actually have to enter the cat. And looks like we're gonna have to deal with the dragon. Okay, nice. Okay, how am I missing the tail? Okay, I gotta wait for him to attack. 
Ooh. Okay. Okay. I'm just I'm being very wary of him because I don't know what his uh, attack patterns are, and that was definitely gonna hit me. Oh, yeah, I can do this. What the fuck? That was doom. All right. Oh, I can totally kill him. Okay, so once again, I would have totally go back and continue playing Rondo of Blood. I really like the aesthetic side of it. But, staying true to me, you know, sucking ass at Castlevania, I'm going to uh, continue uh, the game to our last game, Symphony of the Night, which is arguably the best Castlevania game out there. At least that's what it's been said to longtime Castlevania fans. So I'm not it's not from me. If you think freaking Super Castlevania 4 is the best, hey, I don't blame you, okay? Cause I really like that one too. And this is coming from a guy who started gaming during the PlayStation 2 days. So alright. Uh so I know that uh I don't know I know in the mobile version if you put in like certain character names you can actually play as them. Like for instance if you want to play as Richter from the last game, <clears throat> you just put in Richter and you can play as them. But then you won't be able to play as Alucard, man. And you know, Alucard's cool. So and I know and uh and what was that? Symphony of Blood or something like that? Bloodline, something like that. That that one Castlevania game where you're not playing as a Belmont. I know I said, man, it's kinda weird how you're not playing as a Belmont and stuff. You're playing a like completely different characters. You know, like John Moores and then Aquaman. Um no. Playing as Alucard is an exception. Because obviously Alucard is Dracula spelt backwards. And it is a beast of a freaking character, man. Alucard is an, it's a kick-ass character, so. Alright. Man, look at them. Look at them graphics, though. Isn't that pretty? So. <laughs> hey, man. It's the PS1 days, alright? You gotta respect it. So. By the way, I actually want to see. Oh, no. I didn't want to actually do that. I wanted to fucking. Alright, whatever. I wanted to see if we could actually change the uh, background, but whatever. Oh, my God! The music, man! Woo! Yo. We went from classic, like, hot-ass beats to freaking this, man. Yo, they were tearing it up in the studio back in, back in the, back in, like, the 90s and stuff like that. So. Dracula, die now and leave this world. You'll never belong here. Yeah. Oh, but this world invited me. Your own kind called me forth with praise and tribute. Tribute? You're a thief. You steal men's souls, their freedom. Freedom is always sacrificed to faith, good hunter. Or are you truly here by choice? All I'm here for is you. To hell with your heresy! You're nothing but a blight on mankind. Ha! Mankind. A cesspit of hatred and lies. Fight for them, then, and die for their sins. Die for their sins, boy. Fuck you, this. I believe you can actually. Yeah, okay, you can actually hit his projectile. That's one thing that messed me up a lot. Okay, actually, I have a little thing that we can do to block his thing. There we go. Yeah, just do that, basically. Just flail your little whip around and, uh, it'll do a damn. Now, he does have another attack, like that, which we need to be avoiding. So, what the fuck? Oh, I got- I, Oh, yeah, he has a cross pack. He has, Of course, Richter has the power of Christ on his side. There we go. I forgot- I don't even know how I did it. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah! Oh, and I still took damage. Well, that sucks. Alright. There we go. That's how you want to do it. As soon as you see he like whips his fireballs out, just <laughs> just make a run for it. <laughs> 
Alright. Almost got him down his first stage. Okay, I honestly thought one more hit would have done it, but now one more hit is going to do it. No, 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 no. And then here he goes. Holy shit. Okay, that is not what I expected Dracula to be. I mean, yes, I did, but not the first time. Yeah, whip that ass. Uh, uh, oh crap. Eh, eh, die, monster. I'll lend you my strength, Richter. And now he gives me all the fighting stances from Yakuza. I am the power. Well, basically, it's just another help, but there you go. Not this time. Bye, Dracula. <laughs> what a pushover. And there you go, and that's the end of the game. <laughs> no, obviously not. Now we're getting into the real game. Dracula had risen with the aid of the Dark Priest Shaft to menace humanity once again. The legendary vampire hunter, Richter Belmont, stood against him and at last brought him down. However, four years later, on a glaring full moon night, Richter mysteriously vanished. Maria Renard set out to find him, but knew not where to begin. It was then that fate intervened. Castlevania, the castle of Dracula, rumored to appear once every century, suddenly materialized from the mist, as if to show her the way. Meanwhile, powerful forces struggled for the soul of a man named Alucard, he who had once fought alongside Trevor Belmont against his own immortal father, Count Dracula himself. To purge the world of his own cursed bloodline, Alucard had submerged his vampiric powers and fallen into what was meant to be eternal slumber. But now, he awakens to the cackles of evil and cries of the innocent. The eternal battle of good and evil has come full circle once more. Dracula's castle beckons for you. And no man can say who will emerge victorious. Again, ahead of his time, man. The story kicks ass. The music just, it, 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 it lights the world on fire, okay? This is some shit right here, man. Like, and this is coming, again, this is coming from a guy who doesn't usually, who never really grew up playing these 2D, you know, retro style games. So if I'm saying it, man, oh yeah, that's how good it is. So, but then again, it is to my preference. So, and here we go, our boy Alucard. Look at that hair, though. Ah, so pretty. And the best part about it, she keeps the cape on. Yeah, yeah. Get out of my way, bitch. Oh. Uh. And look how powerful he is, too. He literally just, just blows up everything in one hit. You gotta be careful with these dumb bambos, though, because they do appear right under your butt. Oh, here comes the music! Yeah! Oh, uh, the music is so good, I really wish we could turn it up. Alright. Man, I feel like we've been here before. <laughs> oh, no. I has the backwards bullshit of the other games. Alright. No, no, no. Okay, thank God Alucard is amazing. Wait. I, I can't. I can't get out. I can't get out. Uh, okay, we're good. We're good. Holy shit balls. Okay. Woo! I had it under control the entire time, guys. Th there's nothing to worry about. <laughs> Don't freak out. It's under control. Yeah. Famous last word. It also has a back dash, I believe. Okay, I can't I, I can't I don't know how to perform it, but it is what it is. Hmm. Oh, Alucard. 
What is your business here? I've come to put an end to this. I'm an insolent boy. But there will be no games here. If you will not behave, be gone. I will do neither. Step aside, old man. Damn! Such arrogance. Very well. But I shall see you very soon. <laughs> Motherfucker sounded like Santa Claus, though. Ho 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 ho! Except he doesn't give gifts, he takes them. So now, as awesome as that was, now Alucard is shit. <laughs> I mean, because he, death somehow just magically strips all his powers away. But you know what he didn't strip away? The banger, the banging music. I'm sorry, man. The music is so good in this in this game, bro. All right, uh, come here, you motherfucker. Uh, uh, uh. All right. So the good thing is now we got our swords. So, and also what makes this game very different from all the other Castlevania games, at least for its time, is that this is actually like an RPG game. So, and I'm totally cool with that. So, I think it's actually really cool how they like made it different. And this game did so well, actually. That this is pretty much the standard of the Castlevania series from now on. Um, at least up to Lords of Shadow. Which sadly has been the last Castlevania game since, well, since Konami, you know, made games and stuff like that. Unfortunately, Konami went down the rabbit hole of sticking to, um, of sticking to freaking uh, mobile games and Pachinko's machine. And, uh, yeah, it's just not as good, so. But... It is what it is. I mean, we do have a Silent Hill 2 remake coming out uh, pretty soon, which sheds some light. So hey, you never know, man. We might get a. Oh my God! If we get a remake of the first Castlevania game, I am going to shit in my pants and send a thank you letter to Konami, like at the same time. All right. Ah, bitch! Come here! Come here, bitch! Uh, I'm gonna get you. Hang on. Hold, you, you wait. You wait. You wait, Leroy Jenkins. There we go. Got him. Hmm. Alright. So this guy doesn't actually die, die, so we just gotta. Okay. Hooyah. The music is still pretty damn good. Like. It's so different now, but it kind of just fits the level that we're in, so. I'm actually doing a hell of a lot better than I thought. But that's because, at, like, I'll be honest, I played Symphony of the Night the most out of all the other Castlevania games. Even Lords of Shadow. Like, this game is out on mobile, and yeah, I mean, I liked it a lot. So, I haven't gotten far. I'm still pretty ass at the game. This is why my entire like every save file that it allowed me to name it's been asked because that's exactly how i am at the games but still man it's is oh this game is so good especially if you want to just sit back and play a retro classic game this is it man now it, there are other castlevania like games like uh blood moon curse whatever i've already forgot what the thing is called and it isn't Castlevania, but it is very heavily inspired by Castlevania. Like, you, like if you're looking for a Castlevania, not Castlevania game for some reason, then you, you got it. But other than that, I mean, definitely play Symphony of the Night. Go. Oh, you clever little bitch. Alright, now, unfortunately, you know, this game being like a metroid light game, this is, to me, I call these games where the fuck do I go kind of games, and you do have a map, and it's a pretty big ass, I didn't even realize you can actually do that, the pretty big ass map, I mean, it doesn't look that big now, but wait until we actually, like, get to the end of the game, and you'll see. Alright. Giant monsters. What is a mud? So I'm just quoting. So obviously they took those terrible voice lines out. But honestly, 
I wouldn't mind if they kept it because it, 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 you know, it's classic, you know. Oh fuck, are we about to get to the first boss already? Holy shit, I'm not ready for this. We haven't even found the uh, safe room. Wait, can I just skip these guys? No, I can't. I'll do music though. Come on, please keep doing it. I'm begging you. Make it easy for me. Make it easy for me, please. What the fuck? Hey, yo, that you, you cheated! Whatever, man. Alright, that's gonna be it, though. Um, now, one thing that really does suck about this game is just wait till how long it takes to actually get back into the game. So you gotta listen to this asshole, like, laugh at you, and then you gotta look at Jesus, you know, just being really ashamed of you, like, man, I died for this. <laughs> Damn, that was actually pretty hardcore. My bad. Anyways, and then you go into the thing, and select the file... Wait. Oh shit, I never load I never save. Oh, that's a kick in the balls right there. Alright, whatever, man. That that's gonna be that. So, anyways, that is pretty much the Castlevania series in a nutshell. So you can buy the Castlevania collection uh anywhere really and play all the classic games. But me personally, I highly recommend you get the collection of Rondo of Blood and Symphony of the Night, man. Because they are two a really good game if you want a classic like castlevania game but you don't want to go all the way back to like the old old days and stuff like that maybe because you, it's just not with your time then definitely check out rondo of blood other than that symphony of night is a really good castlevania game as well it's a bit different from the og castlevanias but hey man it's up to your playstyle. so anyways now since this is finally over we are going to be going into uh castlevania lords of shadow as the last october game and yeah man i'm excited to start it so but thank you guys so much for watching as always and i'll see you in the next one later